In today's video, I will be showing you a few different methods you can do which will hopefully resolve the problems you may be having in Roblox. These problems could be the game keeps crashing, the game keeps freezing, or perhaps the game is just becoming really laggy, or it just keeps dropping frame rate. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button below if you did enjoy this video and it did also help you. And we have almost hit 40,000 subscribers and that is thanks to all of your help. It would be absolutely fantastic if we could hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of summer this year. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure you have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. You now need to open the start menu and you now need to type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you now need to click on check for updates. And it will now search to see if there are any new updates for your system. If it does detect any new updates, it will then begin to download and install those updates. Once you have installed the latest Windows 10 updates, restart your computer and then boot up Roblox and see if that fixed the issues you are having. If it didn't, then the next thing you want to do is just ensure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed. This is the NVIDIA website where you can download the graphics card drivers for your NVIDIA graphics card if you do have an NVIDIA or if you have an AMD this is what the AMD site looks like and all you need to do is just simply select your graphics card and then just download the drivers and install them. I will put links in the description below to other videos of where I show you how to install graphics card drivers if you do get stuck. After installing the graphics card drivers, which should help fix any lagging issues or frame drop issues, anything like that, boot up Roblox and see if that resolved those problems. If it didn't, don't panic because the next thing you want to do is open the start menu again, but this time we want to type in game mode. You now need to click on game mode settings and you now need to make sure this setting is turned on. This will basically optimize Windows to make your PC run games better. So make sure you have this option turned on and the next thing we also want to do is now open up the start menu and type in performance and you now need to click on adjust appearance and performance of windows and you want to turn this to best performance and press apply and this will also help boost the performance of our PC which will also improve the performance in Roblox making it less laggy and also increasing the frames. So once you have changed these options, we also want to make sure you have no other programs open. For example, I have Firefox open at the moment. I don't need that open while I'm playing Roblox, as it will be hogging resources which I need for the game. So close down any other programs, Firefox, maybe you've got a video player open, music playing in the background, close everything down and then launch Roblox and see if it's working now because also having other programs open while trying to play Roblox could actually be causing Roblox to crash. If that still didn't help fix the issues, then the next thing we want to take a look at is the security you are using on your system. You need to temporarily disable your security on your PC and then boot up Roblox and see if Roblox is working. If Roblox is working when the security is disabled, your antivirus or your firewall, then you know there is an issue with the security that's basically blocking Roblox from working. So if that is then the case, for example, if you're using the Windows firewall, I will show you how to add an exception to Roblox in the firewall. We now need to right click on the start menu and you now need to click on settings. You now need to click on security and update. And we then need to go down to Windows security. And you now need to click on open Windows security. You now need to click on firewall and network protection. And we then need to click on allow an app through the firewall. You now need to click on change settings and you now need to click on allow another app and you now need to browse to Roblox. 
As you can see, I've got the Roblox shortcut on my desktop, which means I can select that and then go open and then go add. Roblox has now been added to my exception list in my firewall. You can always tick public as well if you just want to have that extra reinsurance that the firewall is definitely not blocking Roblox. We can then go ahead and press OK and then launch up Roblox and see if it is now working. If it's working, then you know it was definitely down to security that was blocking your Roblox from working. But just remember, when you do temporarily disable your security, you are at risk of security threats. So don't leave it disabled for too long. The next thing we want to take a look at is if you're having network issues. If Roblox keeps disconnecting all the time and you keep getting a lot of lag and stuff like that, this could actually be due to the network. So the first thing you want to do is right click on your network adapter and you now need to click on open network and internet settings. You now need to click on change adapter options and we want to simply right click on the ethernet and you now need to go disable and we now want to re-enable it. This just basically gives the adapter a refresh which will hopefully resolve the network issues you're having. If you're using Wi-Fi, I recommend you try plugging your computer or your laptop directly into the router with a cable and then launching Roblox. If Roblox then works, then you know the Wi-Fi is causing you issues. And to be honest, you should be playing games using a wired connection anyway, because they will run a lot smoother and better. We now want to look at running Roblox as an administrator. If you right click on your Roblox shortcut on your desktop and then go to open file location, you now need to right click on the Roblox player launcher and go to properties. You now need to click on compatibility and you now need to click on run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and OK. And we also want to do the same for the Roblox player beta. Right click on it, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Press apply and OK. If you don't have the shortcut on your desktop, then to open up this location, all you need to do is open a start menu, type in run and you then need to type in the percentage sign and you now need to type in app data percentage sign press OK and then you need to navigate to this location. We now need to click back on app data and you then need to open up local. We now need to find Roblox in this list and once you have found Roblox you can go ahead and open the folder and you then need to go into versions and select the version number, the latest one and then there you go, there's the roblox.exe and then you can then right click and go properties and set it as an administrator. Go ahead and launch Roblox and see if that fixed the problems you're having. If that still didn't resolve Roblox then unfortunately the only other thing you can do is uninstall Roblox and then reinstall it. To uninstall all we need to do is right click the start menu icon and click on apps and features. You now need to type in search and we now need to type Roblox and you now need to select Roblox and press uninstall and uninstall. This will now remove Roblox from our system and once it has been uninstalled we now need to open the start menu again and type in run and you now need to type in the percentage sign again and app data and the percentage sign and press OK. We now need to go back to the app data and open up the local folder and you now need to check to see if there's a Roblox folder. As you can see mine does actually have the Roblox folder. We now want to delete this folder so just press delete on your keyboard and there we go that folder has now been deleted. The next thing we need to do is open up the start menu and type in REG and open up registry editor and you now need to navigate to current user and we then need to go to software and you now just need to make sure there's no Roblox folder within here as well. As you can see there is actually a Roblox folder on my registry. I now need to go ahead and right click on this and go delete and go yes. Be extremely careful when deleting registry keys. If you do mess up the registry 
then this could actually damage your PC. So if you're not confident in doing this part in the registry editor, don't do it. Because we wouldn't want you to actually harm or damage your computer and then having to completely reinstall Windows. So don't do this part if you're not confident in doing it. And you can now go ahead and reinstall Roblox. So if you're unsure on how to install Roblox, I will put a link in the description below to two different methods on how to install Roblox. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to show you in this video because that will just make this video extremely long. I hope this video did help you. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.